And this match will be an all Swampert match! Oh my god, there they are! Six Pokemon. Swampert confirmed Swampert. Alright. This is the hyper meme TPP symbols talking about. It's not a shell gun, it's Swampert. So on the red team will be Swampert, Swampert, and Swampert! The blue team will have Swampert, Swampert, and Swampert. Oh, okay, I get it now. Well, at least we know which Pokemon will win in the end. How true. There's a little under two minutes left here in this betting period for this clone match featuring Swampert itself! So the Swampert reveals itself. like there's more betting action on the red side because the first Swampert, Execute Swampert, has Leaf Storm which can do a furious amount of damage to anything in its wake. Absolutely true, We've got only Water type and Ground type here and Leaf Storm is totally against the Water type. So we have a huge advantage on the right, right side right now, so 34% are absolutely justified. However, 284% are to grab on the blue team. Alright guys, a little bit over 40 seconds left to place your bets as it seems like the blue team is getting a little bit of appreciation with 172%. Still the underdog though, because this leaf storm is very decent. Yep, switching is enabled in this clone match featuring nothing but Swamperts. So betting time is up. The blue team will have a 303% payout should they win this match. As we fight Lance at the Sunset Coliseum. It will be the blue trainer and it will be the red trainer. Here we go! Alright, this is it. The final Swampert showdown. First will be uh, blues, uh, the blue team Swampert with the uh, sweet kiss here, which makes the red Swampert confused. Instead, Swampert Execute is gonna use Leaf Storm! Super effective! And Silcoon is down in one hit! That was just simply too quick. A good start for the red team. This means the blue team is going to use their second Swampert while the red team still holds on, although a little bit confused here. Confused and minus two special attack off that Leaf Storm. True, true, you're absolutely right. And now Execute Swampert is gonna get out of the way, and in its place will be... Another Swampert! Whoa, which surprise! C the Kakuna Swampert is going in for an attack order and we have some bees here! Oh my god, bees! The Chimchar Swampert takes a critical and it is just above critical health! Chimchar Swampert comes in with a Brick Break! An okay hit on the Kakuna Swampert. Decent hit indeed, Kakuna Swampert is going in for another attack with bees! Oh my god, they're everywhere! 
Hundreds of bees are too much for a Swamper Pokemon. So now, let's see what the blue te uh, red team is going to turn to next. It looks like they're going to turn to their Zubat Swampert. That's true, it seems the Kakuna Swampert is attacking again, I guess. But first, Zubat is attacking. Zubat Swampert, it is. A very light hit on that Kakuna Swampert. Kakuna Swampert is going for even more bees. This is it. Doing decent damage. Seems as though this Zubat Swampert is going to use Nasty Plot. Oh, very nasty here. As the blue team is preparing another attack, and it's gonna be even more bees. They are everywhere. The critical hit. This means red team Swampert is down and out, putting effectively blue team into advantage in terms of the number of remaining Pokemon. However, red team still has their very first Swampert left. Yeah, this Kakuna with that sniper ability is really coming through clutch with these critical hits. Blue team is trying very hard here as it's... What is it doing? Oh, they're calling their Pokemon back. This means there will be another Swampert coming in for its way. And here comes Execute Swampert's Leaf Storm. Super effective! And down goes Peragli in one swift hit! This was very tactical, they're leaving their Kakuna Swampert for the final attack. However, I'm not sure if Leaf Storm is not still too intense for the one Swampert here to hold on. We are about to find out, it is a one-on-one -on -one battle! True, Kakuna Swampert is a little, has some light hits already, but anyway, it's going in for another attack order, and it's another critical hit. This means the enemy Swampert is in despair as it's going in for the Leaf Storm. Super effective, and Kakuna barely holds on! The Kakuna Swampert holds on. This means the next hit totally could be it. 130 HP are yet to combat. Kakuna Swampert goes in for another attack order. There are the bees, they're everywhere. And is the Execute Swampert able to hold on? Yes, no, it does! Not. Oh my goodness, what a finish! Critical hit! And the red team will get a 32% payout. An emphatic ending to another exciting match! This was absolutely intense, another roller coaster of feelings coming in through here. The under 3% payout died on the spot. Congratulations to the red team! That was a great finish to this match, and it's going to be our last match here in the commentary booth. We will be making way for new commentators, B-Boy Tips and Big Boy. But in the meantime, I am G-Force Fly. And I'm Syntaxi. It was a great pleasure to commentate for you today, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Have a great day. Take care, everyone. Hello. Twitch plays Pokemon. We're continuing to keep the commentary ball rolling. I'm Big Boyd. And I'm B Boy Tips. Welcome everyone to Twitch plays Pokemon. And if you're just tuning in now, it's time to play Who's That Pokemon? Now, one of these is false. So, one hit is from another Pokemon, and one, the pattern on this Pokemon, wings depend on the climate and topography of its habitat. It scatters colorful scales. And hit number two, if it fails to crush the foe with its pincers, 
It will swing around and toss the opponent. And number three, with its horns, it digs burrows to sleep in at night. In the morning, damp soil clings to its body. I just have to say, excellent pronunciation of topography. Thank Very you. <laughs> we got toy and heavy. I think we're going to have a good time this commentary hour. Oh yeah, it sounds like pincer to me. <laughs> Why is okay, but using Megahorn? I'd say it's okay to use Megahorn most of the time. Except if you're up against uh, uh, a, a poison steel type. Or that doesn't exist. Um, a, uh, poison flying type. Yeah, yeah. Weta. <laughs> Weta workshop Weta. here at the, in third. <laughs> Another playthrough. No, no. Well, no. This is different. What do you mean? Of moon. This is this is ultra sun. sun. Ultra ultra sun. Ultra sun power. Thirty seconds left to get your uh, your token match in. If you have a token match that you'd like to bid, looks like we have ourselves a fossil match. Boy, looks like looks to be taking it here as we find out that yes indeed it is Pincer. It we is did Pincer. It. Good job. I don't know, I was watching that the Waskalin and that was that was pretty fun. Not but not more fun than Twitch plays Pokemon. Never more fun than Twitch plays Pokemon. <laughs> what? What, Raposa? Plus coins, it's better to chat. Yeah, that's the best part. The chat of the of the Twitch presents. Oh man, yeah, that Yu-Gi-Oh marathon. It's better to change it to Priz. Oh shoot, I missed that. I missed uh, who got that token. Congrats to you, Same whoever here. you are. Congratulations to your token. Looks like we got ourselves a normal match. Well, of course, it's a normal match switching off because, you know, that's how token matches work. There's no Yu-Gi-Oh! Marathon. There is none, it's the Ad There's Marathon. Ad, yeah, that's right. And on the blue team, we have Rampardos, Kabutops, and Armaldo. And on the red team, we got Aerodactyl, Omastar, and Crediddly. Crediddly diddly do! Crediddly returns! It seems to be, yep, we, we've got that fossil matchup. Uh, well, right off the bat, it looks like Aerodactyl is part flying, and that's going to make it weak to rock. And it looks like every single Pokemon on Blue's team is a uh, rock type. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Oakley dokely. So just checking out the uh, Pokemon on the red side here, we got Aerodactyl with a 28, 238 on speed, which is pretty awesome with the pressure set. Ooh. No way, no, and no how no one's going to beat that Aerodactyl in a race. Also with the uh, Stone Edge and Aerial Ace, uh, Musa also has Fire Fang and Defog. Fog. Maybe uh, if we play on the... Don't, well, don't be fooled. 
defog could make it that stun edge a little more accurate. It could, yes. But that Rampardos is, is looking scary. It's got a few moves that could that Aerodactyl does not like. <laughs> it's like Simulator is not too happy with the Yu-Gi-Oh dubs. That's okay, that's why you're over here. No need no need to No need to Don's game of what you can never see. Doom and gloom! Oh my goodness. This is one Mario Party past what I ever think what I ever purchased. Did six really come out in 2004? It seems early. Fool! Alright, embedding is now closed and we head on to our first battle of the hour. It's a core token match. No, oh, not man, a core no. It's a Unfortunately. 57% payout for blue if they can clinch this. But can the underdog red get their 172%? Let's find out. Alright, so Aerodactyl is sent out first, exerting its pressure, and we got Rampa Rampa Rampardors. <laughs> Out and uh, Aerodactyl's gonna go first since he has a lot of speed, so he's gonna go for a Stone Edge and it's gonna completely miss, unfortunately. And Rampardos is going to come back at it with an Avalanche. It takes it to a little bit below half. And mind you, all these Pokemon are female, it looks like. Except for Crud Diddly Diddly Doo and the Stone Edge. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna hit this time! Nice. Alright, good hit there, a decent amount of damage. Red team looking to eliminate Blue's first Pokemon, but they're going to respond back with another Avalanche onto Aerodactyl. It's going to be super effective, and it's going to KO. And fast down Aerodactyl, goes. down and out. Looks like it wasn't aerodynamic enough to evade those rocks. Next up, we got Omastar. Stars quicker than that Rampardos, and it's going underwater! Zen Headbutt misses. Omastar is going to go with a dive, and it's going to hit super effective against a Rampardos, and he's going to be defeated by that, as it's down to two versus two, with Blue losing their first Pokemon. And it looks like it's the religious showdown of the century. Got ourselves the Helix Dome matchup. The classic matchup, will, Gen 1. Which will run away with it. Kabutop's going for a sword dance, raising its stats, gonna raise its attack power, and Omastar is just gonna go underwater, going for another dive. Oh, Kabutop's coming in with an attack. But unfortunately, despite the quick Aqua Jet, Omastar is still underwater. Dive takes it down to two-thirds health. Health, roughly. Aqua Jet coming in from a couple tops. It's going to deal, oh, decent damage. He looks is very tanky in this defense department as it hides underwater again. Aqua Jet's gonna miss here on this turn since there is no target, so Omatar is gonna go again for another dive and connect onto Kabutops, leaving him almost to critical HP there. One more should be enough to take him out. Kabutops lands another Aqua Jet, doing some more damage onto Omastar, but Omastar goes for another dive. And once again, Kabutops is going to miss. Can't hit with the water move even though it's underwater. Omastar successfully eliminates Kabutops. Praise uh, Helix Fossil for that victory. As blue team is down to their last Pokemon, Armaldo. Claw takes the field and blue team hopes that it can save their 57% payout. Super effective earthquake there, shattering the earth in half. 
as Omastar is defeated and it's down to one versus one here. Red team looking to secure that 172% payout. Let's see if that works out for him. Amaro does attack the next. Yep. Cridilly. Crid Cridilly. Cridilly uh, goes back against for O'Brien. It's going to be super effective, but will it survive this next turn? We'll just have to wait and see. That earthquake seems to have affected our commentary helicopter. Difficult to see what's transpiring here. Oh, and the X-Scissor takes out that Cridibbly diddly do. Cridibbly has successfully fainted from the battlefield and Armaldo is left standing the victor. So blue team wins with a 57% payout. Congratulations. No luck this time, John Cena. Or sorry, Jake Cena? Is that his name? Jim? Jim Cena? Jim Cena. No really, uh, well I guess he's related to John Cena. He could be his cousin. I think that, that was the relation. Joel Cena, that's right. Joel <laughs> Cena. Thank you, G-Force. It's better to change it into Priz. Any input will do for this, uh, for this Pokemon Green input. A, B, up, down, left, right, start, or if you don't know what to choose, select wait. Only one of those two that you can still choose. Leaf Storm GG. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> 